Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Kelsey. Today I am right beside my closet because we're going to do a huge closet clean up today. Um, when doing like your sort of transition from fall winter wardrobe, it's so much bigger. I have so much more stuff. Sweaters are thicker. I have coats now. I have blazers in there and jackets. My boot collection. I have no space in this thing. Um, before I decided to do a closet like clean out, I decided to watch some others on YouTube and a lot of people start those off by showing this big montage of an avalanching like horrid morbid closet just bursting at the seams. Mine does not look like that. Um, I'm a very organized, like, neat, clean person. I think you can tell that by my YouTube videos. Like, even in my vlogs when my room's, like, messy. It's never really that messy. Um, my room does get that messy, but it just bothers me, so I clean it right away. So it is very organized in there, so it doesn't actually look like it's that bad, but it is. If I were to go to the store right now and buy a single sweater, I would not have a place to put it. <laughs> but the best part about this closet clean out, the best part, almost everything that I decide to clean out for my wardrobe today, I'm going to be reselling on my Vestier Collective app so you guys can actually buy anything. If you see something that I'm giving away in the process of this video, you guys can get it. Anything that's like designer, super like name brand, resellable, that's what I'm going to be selling. Anything else that's not but it's still wearable, I like to donate to my local women's shelter. So I'll have it somewhere here on screen, my profile. It's just at Kelsey Simone, so you guys can go follow me on there, check out my site. Once this video is done, I'll obviously start uploading all of the pieces, and you can check out the links in the description to download the app if you need to. Um, hopefully this video will inspire you guys to do your own clean out. You can make your own account, sell your pieces. It's a really super easy app to use and it's a really super easy way to make extra side cash, especially in this time if you need a little extra side cash, this is the perfect, perfect way to do it. And oh, I also have a code that Vestir gave me, so thank you Vestir for this. It's VCXKelsey50. It's for the first 50 people who follow me and you can get $50 off your first over $150 purchase. If you select direct shipping um, on the app, you can get free shipping, also no authentication fees, which is really, really great. Like I said, super easy app to use and to upload, and it's gonna be really, really cool that you guys can buy my items, like a little gift for me to you, straight from my wardrobe. So, let's just get into it. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in with me. <laughs> so, this is my closet. It's very deep, very lovely. This is her. I'm gonna start down here, which is basically the most compact area that I think I need to get rid of the most. It's my sweaters, long sleeve shirts, just all of my like tops. It's basically just the whole tops section. Okay, hello guys. We are here on the floor. Like I said, I'm going to start with this sweater long sleeve section. One of the main rules that I like to follow or things I like to ask myself, if you have a piece that you like, um, you tend to have like multiple of them, or at least I do. You know, it's like nude lipsticks. They're all almost identical, but they're just slightly different, so you need all of them. Uh, I do the same thing with my clothes. So if I have a piece that I really like, I tend to buy multiple of them. So I basically will take all of them out, make them have like a little competition showdown, and the loser gets eliminated. So basically, the one that's the least best and cutest and least worn of all of those. So the first thing is I have a lot of white button up blouses here that are all almost identical. So I'm gonna lay them out in front of me and then pick like the least worn or like my least favorite one. Okay, so this one, is like a dress, so that one's really different. That does have like a different attribute, so I'm actually not even gonna include that in the competition. Um, so this one is kind of, this one I think I wear the most. This one is more fitted, so I don't wear it as much, but it's still like very simplistic and like basic. And then this one I wear the least, because it has like this flower detail, which is like cool, that's why I bought it and it's different, but I've literally never worn it, like, since I've bought this, actually. So this one is being eliminated! We have chosen this one. That was a very simple thing to choose, um, because I've just never worn this top, and I don't plan on wearing it. Okay, next thing I'm noticing, another of the same situation where I have multiple of, like, identical pieces, is I tend to love these white button-up vintage sweaters. Like, not where it's just, like, a full pullover sweater, like, where they have the buttons, just, like, kind of halfway down the front. Um, I think it's just, no, I have four of them. So I'm gonna give away one. We're gonna see which is the worst one. <laughs> was it in my haul? No, it wasn't in my haul, but I did recently just thrift this, so I wanted to give it like, you know, time to thrive in the wardrobe, to prove her point, you know? She hasn't had her time to prove her point. Um, 
let's see, this is my all-time favorite one. This I wear on the daily. That I'd actually get emotional and cry if it left my wardrobe because of how often I wear it. Like I wore it yesterday. I actually wore it the day before yesterday as well. Between these two, um, okay, so I'm going to give away this one. The reason I'm picking that is because this one's actually short-sleeved. I didn't even notice that, and the other two are long-sleeved, so versatility. So this one I'm giving away. This one is actually Diane von Furstenberg. It's a nice little vintage. It's really knitted and pretty, and it's got cute buttons. I just never really wear it, and again, I have a couple like it, so I don't need it. So I'm going to be selling this on my Vestir Collective. My favorite sweater. You can tell it's my favorite sweater because it smells like my perfume. It's just like so heavily, like daily doused in the same perfume. Okay, this is another top I think I'm going to give away just because I never reach for it. So another question I like to ask myself, this is like the most helpful question. If you didn't own this piece, you're in a store right now, would you buy it? Like to be honest, it's a pretty top, like it's gorgeous. But if it were in a store, I wouldn't spend my money on it. Like I wouldn't see this and buy it, you know? And that's just like one of those things where it's like, do you have it just to have it or do you have it because you literally need it and love it and want it and wear it? And I don't. And this is actually Moschino, so I'm gonna sell this one too. I found another top I'm going to give away. This one is just another one of those tops. It is simplistic. I normally don't throw away like basics and classics, but this is another one of those things. Like I'm literally wearing one right now, a plain black wrap top, but this is just one that I don't ever reach for and I haven't worn it in probably over an entire year. So this one I'm going to get rid of. Okay guys, so this is my um, giving away pile. I'm going to organize it later between um, Vestair and what's just getting donated, but this is going to be the whole pile so at the end result we can see how much I actually chose to give away. Now we're in the dress section, which is going to be hard because it's one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to go through all these bad boys and see if there's anybody we can give her the kick on. Okay, I think this is going to be one of the ones I'm going to get rid of. Um, I just don't really like animal print. This is one of those pieces that was gifted to me, um, but it's not 100% my style. Even though the shape of the dress is cute, I just wouldn't go for it because of the animal print. Um, so yeah, this one's going out. This one is so cute. I just got this one. I haven't worn it yet. It's got the horses on the bottom. Super like equestrian or maze vibe, but it's like a blouse dress. This one's so cool. I'm definitely keeping that. This one I can get rid of. This one I have. Very cute, but it's one of those things that it's cute, but it doesn't fit me, so I'm never going to wear it. It's brand new from Academy, like literally with the tags on it, but it's too big and kind of everywhere. Like it's supposed to have that cute construction worker vibe, but not like a legit construction worker vibe. This is one of my favorite pieces I thrifted recently. This is this gorgeous, like, oh my gosh. Come on, guys. I'm waiting to be asked to a ball. Don't know when, where, or how that's ever going to happen, but I'm realistically expecting it to happen so that I can pull this bad boy out. So it kind of is like, the way the top fits, it doesn't go straight up like that. It kind of goes like out like that. It's so beautiful. I put it on with like my gold Manolo Blahniks and I just twirled for hours for hours, guys. <laughs> I wouldn't give this dress away if somebody paid me for it. This dress I'm giving away, it's from I Am Gia. I go way back with this dress. Probably had this dress for like four years now. You've definitely seen me wearing it before as well. This was like kind of when I Am Gia like first became a thing. And they gifted me this dress. I loved it. It's not something I wear now and I've definitely gotten enough use out of it. So, um, but it's not to the point where I have an emotional attachment with it. That's when you should keep a dress. Guys, see this, these are the things you don't get rid of. When I went to Germany, <laughs> I bought this and it's so cool. It's like one of those like really traditional like German, I, waiting to frolic a field with a sheep with this. Again, don't know when, where, or how that's ever going to happen to me, but I'm waiting.
So my bags are pretty well organized. There's definitely no like clutter here. Um, I know everybody. We all know each other. But this guy, I have kind of had off to the side, not like front and show for a while because I never wear it and I knew I wanted to get rid of it. So now I guess it's just the perfect time since I'm already here doing this. It is a Chanel. Oh, how dare I? I know. I would slap myself. <laughs> I think this style is called a bowler bag. Or maybe that's just my own thoughts because it looks like a bowling bag. I don't know. I think it's actually called the Chanel Bowler Bag, but it's this really pretty gray color. I do like because I don't own any gray bags. Like, all my bags are black or black and white. So, I don't own any gray. It's nice. It has this gunmetal silver, but that's one of the main reasons I guess I don't use it because I never wear silver, and I don't really like just my bag clashing if I have, like, gold belt, gold jewelry, and then a silver bag. It just looks kind of weird. The gray also... It's a normal color, obviously, but it's just not something I'd, like, choose. Like, of course it's a gorgeous bag. Look at this with the stitching. It's got, like, that huge size for perfect, like, toe, easy accessibility. You can put so much in here. It's even got, like, a pocket in the back as well with the little, like, Chanel fabric. But, like, compared to all of the other bags that I have here, like, I just never choose this one over any of them, you know what I mean? So it's a gorgeous bag, there's literally nothing wrong with it. It works perfectly fine. I do have it stuffed with some stuff right now to keep the shape. She's authenticated, she's real, she's lovely, she's soft, she has no wear on the bottom. Look at this, amazing. You can just kind of like, you know, on your way downtown, whatever you do in your life. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's gonna go. I'm sorry. You're being kicked out. I'm so sorry. Okay, but like that's definitely it. This is my bag collection. Okay, let's move right here onto pants. Let me just turn you over a little bit. Okay, now we're in pants. These pants I'm gonna go ahead and give away. They were a last minute buy kind of thing. I didn't try them on the store, got home, was disappointed, and I don't have a czar near me to just like return them, so I've just had them since, and I've known I wanted to get rid of these, so these I'm going to get rid of, as well as actually the pants right next to them. I don't know why, I just have a bad association with these pants. Like, they're not ugly, I just don't want them anymore. Does that make sense? I'm allowed to feel like that. These pants are from Tiger Mist. They are cute pants. They have a little floof at the bottom. I wore these to Italy, um, like, very good times. But even still, like, thinking back, I kind of regretted that outfit. Maybe that's why I have some weird anger against these pants. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my skirt section. These are my mainly worn skirts. I have skirts in here too, but because I like the polished look, I put my printed skirts in here and these here. I have a lot of black skirts as you can see and already just seeing like right out the bat this one I never wear and don't really like that often. Again asking myself that question like if this was in a store right now would I be buying it? The answer is no. It's just a simple denim skirt but it's like got the cut off at the bottom and I don't really like that. I don't really wear denim skirts and if I do it's just gonna be like my mom jean blue one. I don't wear this ever at all. I haven't worn this since I was probably like 16. So as you can see here, I have these two shelves with boxes on them, which are kind of just like accessory boxes. So I have this one with hats in it, and I found this hat that, um, it's really nice. I just, it's never been worn. It still has the tag on it. It's from opening ceremony. I have it in both black and this light gray color. You've probably seen it on my Instagram if you followed me for a while because it was a while ago. We used to wear the black one all the time. I love berets. Super cute. But this gray one, I don't know why. I just never reached for it. Um, and I just don't picture myself reaching for it anymore. So I decided this one is a good one to give away. Also, from one of the belt boxes, this one... I'm gonna give away which is very this one's gonna be hard for me to give away this one is a Celine belt one of my favorite brands literally ever it's vintage it's authentic but I don't wear it because it is this burgundy red so I never really reach for it I mean it's gorgeous I could still obviously style this like really simplistically but I don't really wear belts on the everyday like I wear belts either for necessity or like high fashion but just on the everyday like I'm not gonna pick out this belt and just like put it with my daily fit you know what I mean um, but I know a lot of people do it has this gorgeous very equestrian vibe um, and it's got this nice buckle all gold there's a little bit of wear on it obviously because it's vintage so of my coats this shouldn't be too hard my coat collection basically 
my everyday essential must have super love coats are downstairs in our like entryway coat closet these are all of my like excess for fashion like ones that aren't necessity but they're just like cool and different so I like to have them but I could probably do literally without all of these I think I'm gonna go with this one to give away basically I like printed coats but this one I have is super similar but I love this one like with my whole life I love it so this one I don't really love as much um, I can't really really remember the last time I wore it so this one's gonna go out showdown says this one's going this is a super like basic black coat it's a little bit fitted though and I never wear it because I just I'm obsessed with clothes that don't fit me and are way too big apparently so anything that's fitted I'm like this is not it so this one's really fitted it's a little bit short it's not as long as I'd like it to be the sleeves are a little bit tight too and when I'm trying to be warm and cozy in the winter with my big coat I like it to be a big coat okay so here we have the rack of things I'm getting rid of I've got my shoes down there I've got my bags and accessories, my pieces. I've almost filled up the whole rack. So this isn't bad. Like, it's not that bad. I almost filled up the whole rack. Um, being that my last closet clean out wasn't that long ago because I did one kind of mid-quarantine when I was bored, um, this is pretty good. Just to make some a little bit of extra room is great. So like I said, a lot of these pieces, the designer pieces and stuff like that, you guys, can check out and buy on my Vestaire. Again, it's at Kelsey Simone. So make sure to download the app in the description. I will have it down there. Make your own account. Also, you can do your own sort of closet clean out. Hopefully this video inspired you guys to get organized and get clean and make some extra side cash. It's super easy thing to do to make some money right now, as well as the app is super easy to use. And again, I will put that coupon code for you guys on the screen for the first 50 of you to get $50 off your first $150 purchase. Yeah, big thank you to Vestaire for sponsoring this video. Um, there will probably be a lot more on my profile than I showed on this video. Like, I don't know how I'm going to edit this. I might end up even throwing some more stuff on my Vestaire um, anyway, so make sure to check it out. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. But yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.